Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to start learning Groovy programming language. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will start from scratch and go up step by step. Groovy is a programming language which has a Java like or Java compatible syntax. In case you already know Java, it is going to be very easy. And even if you do not know Java, do not worry, it is going to be very easy as we are going to go step by step and we will learn everything from scratch. So in this particular tutorial or session, I'm going to discuss what is Groovy and some features and overview. And in the coming sessions, we are going to install and use Groovy in some programs. So here, if I go to my browser and go to Google and search for Groovy. Here are the results and here you can see we have this official website which is groovy-.org. I will go here and let me also make this link available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you so you can refer all these links. And here this is the official website and here you can see it says a multi-faceted language for the Java platform. Apache Groovy is a powerful, optionally typed and dynamic language with static typing and static compilation capabilities. Now this is a little difficult to understand. So it says uh, Groovy is a dynamic programming language. So what does this mean is let me just go here on Google and search dynamic programming languages. And I will go to this Wikipedia article and this says dynamic programming language in computer science is a class of high level programming languages which at runtime execute many common programming behaviors that static programming languages perform during compilation. So basically in computer science we have dynamic programming languages and static programming languages. In dynamic programming languages a lot of checks or a lot of processes that checks for errors or bugs in the program happen at runtime while we run our program whereas in static programming languages these checks happen at compile time while we are creating our program. Also we can uh, just look at the difference between static and dynamic programming languages and it will be very clear to you so this is a wikipedia sorry this is a stack overflow article and let me also make this link available here and this says the difference is static typing means that types are known and checked for correctness before running your program this is often done by the language compiler so here you can see if we have uh, we have this so we have to provide the type like int boolean whereas in dynamic typing it means that types are only known as your program is running for example the following python 3 so python 3 has dynamic typing and you can see we do not provide the types here and only when we run it it will throw the error so here if we call this function erinus here we are doing something which is like cat minus one which should not be allowed so it will uh, throw an error when we call this program. So this is what static and dynamic typing is and Groovy has both so you can see it is optionally typed like Java it is an optionally type and it is a dynamic language. Now here we also have a Wikipedia page so if I go to the Wikipedia page for Groovy and I will also copy this link and make it available in the notes here. So this is the Wikipedia link and here you can see if you see on this summary here so this was designed by James Strachan and these are the developers and first appeared in 2003 and the latest stable release is 2.5.6 and then you can see the typing discipline here it is dynamic static strong duck and platform is Java and it is influenced by all these programming languages like Java, Python, Ruby and then it influenced Kotlin. So Kotlin was influenced by Groovy and here you can see Apache Groovy is a Java syntax compatible object oriented programming language for Java platform. It is both static and dynamic language with features similar to all to those of Python Ruby Perl. So this can be a very common question in case uh, you go for some interview related to Groovy that it is both static and dynamic language and we have already seen what does that mean and then there are some other details about Groovy. It was first released in January 2, 2007 and then 
uh, Groovy 2 was in July 2012 and here you can see some features history and these are the features and then some examples for Groovy so uh, this is what Groovy is and we have seen the features and overview now again if you go to the Apache Groovy official website you can see we have this uh, options here you can go to learn tab and here you will find a lot of references so you can see getting started documentation and then uh, you can also see some books here and if you go to the documentation page you can see we have all this documentation starting from downloading Groovy to install Groovy and then if you want to look at what are the differences with Java uh, of course you should have Java if you want to work with Groovy and we will see that in the coming sessions and then all these things are here uh, language specifications are here tools are here and you also have all these module guides and API documentation so this is the complete documentation for Groovy and in the coming sessions we will start installing Groovy and then we will use Groovy I will uh, show you how to install on Windows as well as on Mac and then we will see how to use Groovy I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching